Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my first ever dupes video. Yay! I want to keep this video short and sweet. I'm going to give you guys some close-ups of everything that I talk about. And I also want to, you know, hopefully as it, time goes by, I want to be able to do more of these videos if you guys enjoy this one, obviously. And I'll put them in a playlist so you guys can, you know, just refer to this whenever you feel like it. So I'm not going to ramble anymore. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. And now let's get started. I'm sure you guys have seen this product everywhere. I know I have seen this product everywhere. Uh, it's the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is actually a sample that I got with my Sephora points uh, a while back. And although I like it and I it works really well taking everything off without stripping out your skin, it's an amazing product. For me, personally, it burned the crap out of my eyes. So I tried this on my face and I really took my makeup off, you know, layers of foundation and whatnot, and it did a great job. I just could not use this for my eyes. The dupe for that is the e.l.f. Hydrating Melt Cleanser. And I actually prefer this to the Clinique. I think this, I put this in a video before, you guys know I did a review of all the e.l.f. skincare. I think this is amazing and this does not burn my eyes. So I absolutely love this. When I have a lot of stubborn eye makeup or if I do a very intense eye makeup, I prefer using something like this as to using a million makeup wipe removers and just rubbing the crap out of my eyes. So in comparison to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, I absolutely prefer e.l.f. over that because it didn't burn my eyes and it's just, it works just as great for just a fracture of the price. You guys know that I try a lot of e.l.f. products. They send me amazing stuff all the time. I'm very, very fortunate and grateful. So it's going to be a lot of e.l.f. stuff in here and it's not sponsored. It's just because I have access to it a lot. So the next dupe is going to be for the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer, which I absolutely love. Um, I have a, a little size of this that I have been using forever and I finally ran out. And then I went and tried the 3-in-1 e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Primer. And I love this. That's why I haven't even opened the full size because I just keep using this over and over again. You guys have seen me use this in many, many videos and I love it. The initial consistency may seem a little different, but the end result is exactly the same. At least for my skin. I have very, very dry skin and they both perform amazing. If you ever wanted to try the Makeup Forever, I feel like you should give the e.l.f. a try and see how it performs on your face because to me, they perform exactly the same and I love them both. Next, I have a foundation that I'm actually wearing right now. I absolutely love my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I love it this. It doesn't even feel like a stick foundation. It's very moisturizing. Very, very good for dry skin. I was, I was very surprised when I first started using this and I just love it. I use it for my, you know, events and things that I know I need to have my makeup on all day long. This is amazing. So I recently bought the e.l.f. stick foundation and I have to say they feel exactly the same. They perform the same. The e.l.f. is a little bit, a little bit, like a pinch more drying than the Makeup Forever. Uh, but I would say that if you wanted to try a stick foundation and you don't want to take the plunge and buy a super expensive one, then try the e.l.f. because I, I really, really like it. I think it performed really well on my skin. I could have used a little bit more, more, more moisture, but... It's just winter time here where I live, so my skin is just has been really suffering from that. Makeup Forever has a lot of shades. Uh, I know the Elf they have been improving their shade range a lot, uh, but Makeup Forever has way more shades than the Elf. So if you can find a shade on the Elf, I would say give it a try because to me it was amazing. I was blown away again by another L foundation. Next we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in strawberry 
And this is one of those uh, beautiful red shades that make your smile brighter. Uh, I absolutely love this. And I believe this is exclusive to their website. So I was happy to find two different dupes. And now these are not formula wise, uh, not at all formula wise dupes, but more like shade wise. Uh, if you can't find that or if you don't want to spend the money, I have two good, very affordable alternatives for you. So the first would be the NYX Lip Cream in Amsterdam, which is one of my favorite by them. I love, love, love this. I have to say this formula is more drying than the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula, but I love this lippy. I've had it for a while and I really, really love it. So this is option number one. Option number two would be e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Rowdy Rouge. I love this red. This really makes your teeth brighter. It's amazing. I love it. And these are so affordable. So like I said, not formula wise, these are all different formulas, but color wise, they are very, very, very similar. So I think I've mentioned this before in my brow tutorial that I did a while back, but I thought I would put this in a proper dupe video because it really is, I think out of all of these, the most spot on dupe I've ever found. So now we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I love this. Um, it's a close tie between this and my Benefit Cabrow, but I absolutely love my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow. And this is what I use to really build up my brows because they are very, very sparse, as you guys know. So the dupe that I found for this is the e.l.f. Lock On and Gel Liner. And this is exactly the same. It's crazy. Now, they don't have as many shades as the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but they are awesome. And they last all day. They don't rub off throughout the day. Um, I, I can't. I can't even tell you how good this is. I remember telling my friend Christina about this, and she was like, no, there's no way that you found a dupe for Anastasia Dip Brow. And I'm like... Trust me, just trust me, because we take our brows so seriously. <laughs> so she went and she bought the e.l.f. Uh, lock on liner and she was like, this is literally the best dupe I think I've ever found in my life. Uh, if you have always wanted to try the dip brow, if you are just beginning, um, you know, makeup or whatnot, I would say give it a huge shot on this because it's amazing. The shade range is amazing. They're not too warm, they, they are just perfect. They are just the way I like it for my brows. And you guys know I am super picky about my brows. So I absolutely love these both equally. So it's just a matter of preference. So if you have been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely love my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I think it's one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It's just, it gives you the most beautiful champagne glow uh, you know, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's great for fair skin. It's great for medium skin. I just love, love, love this. So when I found a dupe, I was pretty excited. So around December, e.l.f. came out with these new uh, HD highlighting powders. And the dupe that I found is in Starlight Glow. These are so incredibly similar. And they pack the same punch when you apply them on your cheekbones. You can't, I can't tell them apart. I have done a half and half kind of uh, look. I, I have tried one on one side and one on the other side and it literally, I can't tell the difference. So they blend amazing. They don't, uh, you know, intensify my texture or anything like that. I just, they are perfection. And I know that the balm, you can mostly order online and they sell them on Hope Look from time to time. And also at Kohl's, you can find uh, the balm. So it's a little bit trickier to find it. It depends where you live. So this one right here, it's a lot of times it's sold out on the website. So keep an eye for it. Uh, I will try to see uh, whenever they send me emails or things like that, then that the popular stuff is back in stock. I will try to tell you guys on my Snapchat or whatever, my Instagram. Uh, I try to update you guys because it's tough to get your hands on this. But if you can, it's absolutely worth it. Now, lastly, I have something that it's not a total dupe, but I feel like this I was very excited about it because I know that 
if you don't have this palette, you can absolutely not buy this palette anymore. It's gone. It was limited edition. That's it. So I was very impressed when I found something very similar. Again, not the same, but very, very similar. So you guys know that I absolutely love my Master Palette by Mario. Ugh, this is just like a warm tone dream. The pigment is just insane on this palette. So recently, Pixie sent me a lot of their stuff and I'm very, very grateful. Uh, so I was playing around with this palette and I fell in love with the palette, first of all. But then when I was going, uh, you know, trying to find dupes and just swatching things here and there, like high-end and affordable, I got this palette and I immediately thought about the Master palette. And I was like, whoa. So this is the uh, Pixie and It's Judy Time collaboration. This is called the Eye Time palette uh, because her name is It's Judy Time. So this is It's Eye Time. It's so cute. I've done two looks with this palette. I was very, very impressed. The, the blendability is amazing. And the size of, you know, the, the amount of shadows that you get for the price is really, really good. I wouldn't call this a 100% dupe. I left this one for last. But I wanted to mention this because I know that a lot of people will love to get their hands on this palette and you are never going to be able to. It's a sad reality, but unless they just bring it back like a lot of companies do with the limited edition stuff. Also be aware on stuff on eBay. There's a lot of fake stuff like this, so just be careful. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Alright guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know that a lot of these products are not exact dupes and I know that but I wanted to do this video and offer you guys a you know show you guys alternatives for some for a few products that I really love and also not so much for like the formula or the shade exact but just to show you that something similar can give you the same effect also if you have good dupes please leave us a comment down below so we can all see and as always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends because it really, really helps my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!